air superiority, won many battles in the past. Alas, Evil Life Corporation had no flying robots in their arsenal. Until now. Dragon of the North, Fafnir, glides into battle. Just as Loki, Fenrir and Tyr, this robot has two combat modes. On the ground, Fafnir is sturdy as shell, but in the air, it becomes a swift raider that gets behind the enemy lines and hunts for vulnerable targets. Fafnir can fly indefinitely, which can be both an advantage and a risk. Let's take a closer look. On the ground, Fafnir has four weapon slots and increased defense. Upon taking off, Fafnir loses defense and two weapon slots. However, it gets a temporary absorber shield and activates a built-in cannon. This cannon hurts the more the more damage you block with your shield. This damage boost will stay even after the shield wears off. Fafnir loses it only on landing. That means you can take a risk and try to dish out more damage before landing to safety. Fafnir's cannon also deals increased damage to Titans. Use it to your advantage, but remember, your absorber will not last forever. At some point, you will have to decide, return to the ground or continue flying unprotected. As Fafnir, Titans are your primary target and your worst enemies. You can strike them effectively from the air, but on the ground your defense will do little against their penetrating weapons. Before enemy titans go online, make the most out of your speed and air defense to capture as many beacons as possible. That will give your team a nice head start. Then rely on your ground mode to protect the land. As long as there are no hawks or railgun equipped snipers, extra defense will last you long. Awareness of your surroundings is key when playing Fafnir. Use a wrong mode against a wrong enemy and you'll be an easy prey. It's up to you to find the right balance. Welcome the newest addition to Ragnarok Squad. And happy hunting, commanders!